I guess uh, in terms of like uh, the final project, I've been really struggling with getting mm-hmm. the working on the final stuff. Uh, so I guess a few like things I'm running into is uh, I was trying to I've been trying to understand Blender for like the last week, and I'm just really stuck on that. And I was wondering if there's like any other way I could model uh, the robot. Mm, I don't get your point. What, what do you mean by other way? Um, like a different uh, a different force I could use instead of Blender to show off the robot. If that uh, makes Blender sense. is just a, an example. We do not say that that's actually a requirement. It's actually just an example that if you have no tool to to use it, you actually use Blender. You can also use Python. You can also use anything that you feel comfortable to, to do it. So tool-wise, we do not require you. Actually, it's something you need to put it in in your proposal, right? Mm-hmm. We do not tell you that, okay, we just say that Blender is an example, but not a requirement. Oh, okay. Okay, so you should come up with your own uh, tool of choice. To work on it, even you just use the Python, that's fine. Okay, but you um, have to you have to complete it. That's and actually pick a different robot than the one that you work on in the assignment. Right. Um, that, that's the minimal requirement we have. Otherwise, no no special guideline. Okay, so it could it could be like a, a Python program um, modeling a say. Okay, let's assume that okay, there's a certain guy who actually come up with a a certain robot. It's actually a circular robot. Okay, so here you do have a center, right? You do rotate, and then here you have another center. You rotate, and then here is another center. You rotate. So, so there's a certain uh, just rotation based. Okay, uh, robot. Okay, just rotate. No, no. Um, if you want to. S- Actually, model is good. That's okay. That's actually is a model of the sun versus earth versus moon, right? If you can describe it in the way you, you have and then use math to describe it, that's okay. Right? Come on, come on, point. I don't actually give you any limit on what kind of robot you have need to give me. Whatever robot you think that actually appropriate to discuss, you can just use it as a, for you to model. Is that okay? Oh uh, okay. yes, thank you. Yeah. Otherwise, you 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 know quick basic. You know. Uh, uh, man up, you know, whatever tool you actually, uh, know is your most convenient tool. You, you just use it. Okay. But one thing is that don't copy, right? We actually don't like the student to copy from some other different course or some other project. That's it. That's it. But that's the basic guideline we have. Just one student to, uh, show what he has learned or what he uh, the skill that he picked up uh, from this course. Okay, or what he learned in uh, robotics. That's the whole purpose. Is that okay? Uh, yes, I think so. Thank you. Yeah, some other question? Um. Yeah, um, I guess I was wondering if we could, um, I'm still stuck on assignment four, and I was wondering if we could go over that again, because I've just been trying to figure that one out for a while. Mm, assignment four. Uh, assignment four, okay. Assignment four, you do have a, I believe we do have a center rotation, right? And this one, there's another rotor here, and it actually makes circle up here. Okay, so you need to 
find the uh, exposed space. So from this point of view here, the energy will not circle, become an orbit, become an orbit, right? So this is the to see that actually it rotate and become an orbit. Second one, actually, it circling the wrong is the point on the orbit, it make another circle. So if you actually look at some end point here, it swipe through the whole circle and go back to here. This point swipe the whole circle and go back to here. This point swipe the whole circle and go back to here. You become a donut shaped uh, circle. You become a donut shaped circle. That's what we say. And you need to as you describe it in mass and actually put them in in the uh, Python. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I keep you some equation and example. And you need to read it. Okay, you need to read it. But right now, because it's already last week. So what I suggest is that you pick up whatever point you can pick up first, okay? If you're really stuck on this one, you, you probably would like to do it later. Is that okay? Yes, okay. This is the last week. We do, you, you have to get the most points. So the proposal and the, the term project has more points. Okay, try to finish them. We do not require you to finish one by one. There's no requirement that you have to finish assignment one before you can do assignment two. No, we don't have that kind of limitation. So you just work on whatever you can do right now because it's only a few days, a couple of days left, right? Not, not too long. So try whatever you can do first. Get more point. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. So that one, you have to have some sort of uh, imagination. Okay, you have to have some imagination, otherwise you cannot see, okay. You cannot see. Okay, so here, let's see. Okay, let me share, uh, actually just have myself. Okay. So here, let's assume that here I have a cup holder, right? Cup holder. So let's assume that this cup holder in the middle, in the middle, you actually, let me see. Okay, like this. In the middle is the, your, okay, let's assume that we do have a pencil. Okay, it's a longer pencil. So this is a longer pencil and the actually cup holder, okay, cup holder. So here, let's assume this here is actually the center of the the first dot that is going to turn. So it actually makes circle like this, right? Okay, so this one makes circle like this. So this is a circle. After you make a circle, actually, what do you have? You have you will have a donut shaped it uh, uh, uh stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? After you actually swipe through the whole space, you should get something like uh, donut shape this uh, shape. That's your second circle. The the, the cup holder actually is a, uh, is a, actually a a sida over here, and your your M, M effector is on the cup holder's uh, uh, edge, right? So it's a circle, and this is a circle you actually swipe through the whole space. 360 degree. Let's see, you see that one. You slide through the whole circle. Right? Is that okay? Yeah, I think I understand it a lot better now. Thank you. Okay. You have to use something to try to try to figure out what it is, okay? Other than that, okay, you have to use your trigonometry knowledge to, to model it, okay? Okay, any other question? Any other question? Let's see, let me actually check the course material, let me actually.
Okay, we we actually all the lectures I have talked about so far. Okay, I have already covered every week's uh, material briefly. Okay, briefly. So today I'm saving it for the last discussion. Let me see. Okay, I see. I seems to did not put the uh, Tuesday's video. Okay, I'll put the Tuesday's video here. Okay, sorry for you. Okay, any other question? How many homework you still have? Uh, how many homeworks do you say? Yeah. yeah. Um, I still need to do four, seven, and eight. Four, seven, and eight. Okay, and then mm -hmm. term project. And then the term project. Yeah, I've been, I've been mostly focused on the the term project right now. Uh, there's a few other assignments that aren't four, seven, and eight that I I have finished, and I'm going to turn them in probably like right after this class. I'm just like I'm putting them all together with like their like other diagrams that are needed and, and yes. like putting them in folders. Yes. Yes. So yes. that like uh like five A, five B and three and six, those are all done. I'm gonna get this turned in probably within like the hour. Okay, okay. Okay. And then uh so far in terms of difficulty, are you able to handle? Um how do you mean? Uh in terms of uh Difficulty. Do you think that you struggle or you handle it well or you actually kind of shaky? What, 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 what way do you feel? Okay. Um, I'd say it's a bit of a struggle. Yeah. Struggle. So which part you struggle more? Mass or programming? Probably an equal part of both, but maybe a little more on the mass side. I've never been the greatest at math, so it's a bit of a struggle with that sometimes. Okay. 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 I see. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. Most of the students here are graduate school. Okay, I'm actually talking to you just because you come here pretty often. Okay, so uh, whatever I'm discussing with you will not be used for any grading purpose. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Uh, and also what I would like to talk to you is that I will try to learn from you that, okay, uh, in terms of, from, because I teach this course, this is a third year, right? Every year students are different. So I try to understand that which part we can improve more, okay? So here, okay, it, it does require the knowledge of linear algebra, differential equation, and also, uh, also metric operations, right? And also using Python. So, which mass you feel that you have some more deficiency? Or you believe that if you actually do it more in your undergraduate study or some course before would actually help this uh, more? Yeah, something I was thinking is like, I haven't done too much. Um, one of the certain math classes that I have not taken, like uh, for example, there's like a differential equations class and I mm. and I've never had to take that before. Yes. Okay. Um, so that one you didn't never take it before. Mm. Okay. Are you a computer science student or are you a computer engineering student? A uh, computer science student. Computer science student. How about your undergraduate study? What's your major in uh, undergraduate study? Uh, my undergraduate was computer science with a concentration in video game programming. Okay. But uh, is physics a requirement in your undergraduate curriculum or not? No, it was not. I've never taken okay. physics. How about multi-variable uh, calculus? Um, I know I took pre-calculus, and I think I also took calculus. Yes, that's like a typical one, typical typical CS student would have calculus. Yes. How about multi-variable calculus? Uh no, I don't think so. So when you look at the partial partial uh q partial x partial q partial y, you kind of in in have no way to understand it. 
Yeah, I say a lot of them. I the say stuff this guy, there. we do have the heel take partial, this partial X, right? Okay, when, when we do the differential equation, there is a metric, right? Jacobian metric. We do have that, right? This is dx dy, right? This is actually d, dq dx. That's actually the full, full de derivative. But partial derivative is written in this way. Okay, it's written, it actually is, it actually is this one. Okay. Uh, you, you q, uh, you x. This one actually is delta in, uh, it's delta in Greeks, lower case delta. So the, when we do partial response, partial Q, partial X, H is delta, okay? D is also delta. So delta Q, delta, delta X limit the, the delta X going to zero. This one we call it differential, take derivative, right? And partial derivative is actually only one time. Uh, actually, it's used for multi-dimensional. So if you never take this uh, multi-variable calculus, then you are not able to fully understand those differential equations, especially in in the derivative, uh, the, the 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 Jacobian metric. Yeah, that's for sure. But that's the problem, okay? That's a problem that actually this robotic course is considered to be an engineering course. More engineering course than a computer science course. So student without the linear algebra, without uh, differential equation will, fa will feel it actually a little bit more difficult. Yes. Okay, but I just try to understand students' paper, okay? No problem. Okay, so that's actually something we, I can, uh, uh, actually, because right now here, this course is over for graduate level. So students come from different background. It's really hard to, to expect what student, uh, is, has what background. Okay. Uh, so, so right now we are third year using this uh, curriculum. Uh, maybe if I continue to teach, maybe on the fifth year, I will revise the material to tower more CS less engineering stuff. Okay. But right now I don't have time to update it yet. I, if I have to do it, I will, I'll try. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Um, I guess just in terms of modeling the final using python mm -hmm. um and getting it to display do you know of any like import packages that could be useful to use to try to display the robot display the robot display the robot you, you can look at the curriculum we actually have a video talking about the wi-fi we find instruction material. We do have the whole lab talking about the open CV. Okay, we do have a, a, let's see, there's a sensor. Okay, so if you want to actually look at the displacement, there's a Python. Python open CV. Computer vision. Okay, you can use the Python computer vision. This one is a whole package you can use. Okay. Object detection, binding, machine learning. Okay. That's one thing you can work on if you, you want to use it for your term project. That's okay. Uh, and we also teach you the main lab. Uh, Python Mapra Live, right? This one, I think it's good enough to make any plot you have. So it's already uh, used for visualization. Okay. So you just, you just need to install it. Okay, you just need to install it. 
Okay, this is the whole package, and we do provide it. When we get started, I do actually give some Python video link. I do have, I do teach the how to install it before. Okay, but it's okay. You, if you still have questions, you can ask. But this one really cover all kind of the meta plus, all kind of meta, uh, Python plus, all kind of Python plus you need. Okay. My product. So here you need to be able to install it. Okay. All kind of product is here. So let's see. Let me copy for you. You, you can look at, uh, these different examples. Okay. Can you see? These are typical plotting tools. Very convenient. My product and then also is a Pratly. Okay, Pratly API, Pratly Express, Pratly for Python. This one is also very simple and very convenient to use. But if you have some question like this, you should ask much earlier. Okay, at this moment is a little bit too late. Right, you have limited time. This should be done before you submit the proposal. Right, here you do have all kinds of plugins, 3D, metric, whatever. But you take time to learn it, okay? It's okay so far? Yes, thank you. But still welcome, continue to learn it because what? You are not learning just for the term project, right? You are learning because later you may need it. Or, or AI or machine learning purpose, right? Okay. How about uh, schedule-wise? Do you think that uh, too intensive or okay? Or how do you feel? Uh, what was the question? How about the schedule? Is our schedule too pressing or loose or? Um, I mean. Time-wise. Time-wise, I always find the eight-week courses to be a little bit difficult time-wise, especially yes. uh, the fall one because you have like uh, the Thanksgiving break and all that. Yeah, that's um, actually the problem. It's a really bad time. Okay, number one, eight-week course is too short, right? They actually say that it will be the same quality as 16 week semester, but you will never be the same, right? It's more time, uh, more pressing. And also we cannot teach as much. Even though you can claim that, okay, you can put a double the effort to a, a course, but, but, but that's actually conceptually or theoretically possible, but, Nobody actually really can put 200% times on a course in a shorter time, right? It actually usually doesn't happen that way. Okay. I don't know. So, so this course is kind of really condensed or eight weeks, really too short. Yes. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Uh, I, I don't think so. Okay. So these are tools. I I hope that you can enjoy it, okay? Uh, not only right now, but also after after the whole class finish, you can continue to use math to model whatever is game, whatever you actually uh, should should actually do it. So once you have a great job, if you actually get your CS degree, what type of job you actually prefer? Uh, I want to go into video game development. Mm -hmm. Video game development, but video game development, they are a few different 
uh, field. They are game design. They are actually game engine design. That's, these are different. Game engine design, you need to use a CW plus to do hardcore coding, right? That's a very intensive. Game design is light. It's actually more art than coding. Okay. So, so you have to figure out which way you kind of fit better. And are you good in art? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, okay. So, so you have to. Is there some company around Chicago can do it? Where, where do you live? Hello, do you mind? Uh, what was your question? Sorry. Uh, where do you live? Where are you living? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I live out in like Orland Park, so it's like uh pretty close to the Romeoville campus for Lewis. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you, around Chicago area. Yeah. So if you find job, you still would find somewhere around. Um, I mean, I'm open to looking for anywhere. Um, off the top of my head, I don't really know of too many places locally of where I'd be interested in. Yeah, game design, many companies in Southern California. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One maybe New York. So, so those, uh, like, uh, more like, uh, entertainment companies, right? Okay. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. But if you want to do game engine design, you have to be good in C double plus. Okay, that's something you need to prepare for. Okay, so if no question, I don't know. I I don't have other question. Okay, you can stay or you can leave. I may wait a little bit longer for other students if they someone show up. Okay. But if nobody show up, I would just be offline up to half an hour. Is that okay? Okay, yeah. I guess another question would be, uh, when would like this recording go on to like YouTube or uh, or be posted? I mean, I'll try to take. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Yeah. I'm sorry that Tuesday I forget to post it, but I do have the video processed. Okay. Yeah. So, well, this is already late, but, but if sometime, uh, actually, uh, I forget or I'm, I'm late in terms of posting the video, instead, always shoot me an email or contact me. Okay. I'm okay. I'll, I'll provide it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let me wait, okay.
Um, I guess I do have another question. Yes, go ahead. Um, I think we already talked about this in a, a previous class, but um, I just can't remember. I was wondering if we could go over assignment seven and eight again. Mm -hmm. Seven and eight. Okay. Okay. Seven is the seven step duo, right? And number eight is the working on a certain uh, robot to redo it one more time, right? So first thing is that you need to know about a seven, number seven, you have to work on it, number seven first. Number seven, you have to follow the seven step guideline. Okay, you have to follow the seven step guideline. Let's see, actually, it's a three, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Number seven is it's a three dimensional stuff. Okay, so you need to model it uh, based on the uh, this was all pre prismatic, uh, uh, joint. So you need to find out the relative speed of this guy based on the change of D1, D2, D3, and what would be your DS, DY, DZ, your speed. Okay, so that's the goal you need to have. So here we, you do need to go through the inverse Jacobian. Okay, you need to go through the inverse Jacobian. And inverse Jacobian, you need to follow the so-called prismatic Jones rule. Okay, so, so we do have the inverse Jacobian. We do have the Jacobian. First, you need to find out the Jacobian. Okay, and Jacobian metric, you have to find out the prismatic one. So in terms of the Jacobian, the Jacobian metric, you need to derive it based on the all prismatic join. So there are three displaced prismatic join. Four frame, three, degrees, and you need to use this to calculate it. Okay. Okay, you need to actually, you need to actually calculate your, your Jacobian based on this uh, formula, okay? And Jacobian, you have two styles. One is a revolute joint, one is the uh, the, the, the so-called uh, prismatic joint. You have to use this uh, generation of Jacobian metric to get your Jacobian. And after you get a Jacobian, you try to figure out the inverse of Jacobian. Yeah, and then you try to figure out the inverse of the Jacobian. Okay, and then you try to find, figure out the inverse of Jacobian. Based on your Jacobian uh, metric, you, you try to do inverse. Okay, so basically this one is a example, but not the same example, okay, you basically, model it, get the kinematic diagram, and from there you calculate your uh, matrix, okay? And then from your matrix, you generate the uh, Jacobian vectors, okay, G and omega, okay? After you get your Jacobian matrix, you kind of have to pick whether it's a prismatic joint or rebel joint, okay? and then you actually come out with your Jacobian. And from your Jacobian, you calculate the inverse of the Jacobian. And then, and then you use the inverse of Jacobian, you will get the DI, DT, DI, uh, D, uh, actually, I'm sorry, D, the, the change of the prismatic joint versus the speed of the XYZ, okay? Is that okay so far? So this one is your inverse Jacobian. 
and the chap the number last one. Last one, last one, you have to follow the seven step. The whole seven step calculation, okay? So you have to work on these two combinations. So basically, it's actually you need to divide it into two parts. One is the arm, one is the wrist. Arm portion is representing the SYG of your end effector. Wrist portion represents the final orientation of your uh, end effector. Okay, so based on this idea, you actually model your your <coughs> your robot. But you got to look at uh, the two, uh, basically look at the two, you actually need to follow the seven step, seven step, okay. Seven step to analyze the whole thing, okay. They are step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, do it one by one. So that's the last one. That's, that's homework assignment number eight. You need to go through the seven step, step by step, one by one to do it, okay. And all of these slices is, can be found on our post shell. Just in different week, you have to figure them out, okay? Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, if no other question, I'm going to go offline, okay? Because now I don't see anybody else is coming, okay? Okay, wish you good luck and let me know if you still have questions of the other class, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.